From your local election headquarters, this is KMAC News Election Night, sponsored by Capital Mortgage Services. I'm Jen Phillips. Today is Wednesday, November 6th, and here's a very special elections results edition of everything you need to know before you go. It'll only take 60 seconds, but you won't see a clock this time. Instead, you'll see some full screens. Here we go. A 44 year trend of Democrats in the precinct three seat for county commissioner ended last night. Republican challenger Carrie Shaw unseated incumbent Democrat Gilbert Flores with nearly 53% of that vote and by Almost the same margin, Lubbock said yes to a $103.4 million road bond that will fund seven projects across the city, including the replacement of the Broadway bricks. Average homeowners will see a $30 annual increase on their property taxes. Three propositions on the ballot for friendship and three yeses from their tax base. A voter approval tax rate for salary raises, a bond for new and aging facilities, and another $10 million for technology. And a resounding no from the Roosevelt ISD tax base for a $58.5 million bond there to build a new elementary school. It would have cost average homeowners there $200 more annually. The Highland Oaks neighborhood will be annexed into the city of Lubbock after 69% of neighbors there voted yes. Wow, 69% yes there. So those are just a few of our local races that we were following. Some of our closer local races that we were following. So for more on any of the races that you want to learn more about, including our national races, we have local numbers, we have state numbers. You can really get some insight into how Texas and Lubbock voted for all of the major things on your ballot this year. You can head on over to everythinglubbock.com. We have probably more information than you will ever want to know about that. So head there for more. And of course, today is November 6th. The sun came up. We're all still Americans. I'm Jen Phillips.